Okay, I got the secondary airlift pump down the hole. It stopped about four feet from the bottom because the existing airlift pump, this bigger one, the, the bottom of it is at two inches. Uh, it's a two inch PVC pipe, so this wouldn't go around it with the connectors I had on it, but check this out. Um, I'm still getting pretty good flow here and I'm leaving off the air that I was before into the secondary. So here's the original, it was inch and a quarter delivery pipe for the water and this is the supply line for the air which is half inch black poly. And the new airlift pump which you saw on the part one video of this was uh, just some fittings I had extra and some extra pipe. This is three quarter inch with half inch air delivery line, same as this bigger pump. And look at it pulsing away. Pretty good little pulse it's got there. I haven't measured it, but it's probably somewhere around three gallons per minute. And what I'm probably gonna end up doing with this is hook a water hose up to it. Cause I had about 200 foot of this stuff hooked up earlier and I was still getting two and a half gallons per minute with all this before I cut this pipe. So I cut it here and it did increase the gallons per minute a little bit. So what I'm gonna do with this is have it to where I can hook a hose bib up to it so I can um, trickle irrigate my fruit trees over there in the little fruit orchard over there. So there's an update. I got two airlift pumps down my four inch casing and I'm still using the same little compressor, that little gas compressor, that 4 CFM compressor. It's probably pushing about two and a half CFM, maybe two, at uh, this pressure up here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's a 30 PSI gauge here. 15's up there, so it's about 16 and a half, and as the the well drops as far as the static level, the drawdown, it'll draw down to where it shows about 16 PSI. So there's an update. I got the secondary airlift pump in there, works great. So now I can use that for um, trickle irrigation. So I, what I'm probably gonna end up doing is put a smaller needle valve on the secondary pump so I can just barely regulate the air because if you overdrive this little pump, it doesn't pump as much. And that's what I was doing earlier. I was overdriving it. I wasn't getting very much out of it. So there's an update. Dual airlift pumps down a four inch casing. It works great. FryTV.com. Oh, and I just had eight baby ducks. Their first swim was today. So it's been a pretty cool day. And I love seeing water coming out of the ground.